And we welcome in a guy who people might not realize this, but I, uh, I, I've thought about this many times. Kurt Warner came within an inch of being a quarterback who won three Super Bowls. He won one and could have very easily won the other two. Obviously, he had a crushing loss with the Pats and against the Pats, and then the Arizona game where they had the lead with two minutes to play. Kurt, welcome. How are you? Good to see you again. I'm doing great. Good to see you. You got your coat oh, on. You well, got your the hands in your you know, pockets. The, the door behind <laughs> us keeps opening, and it's freezing. I'm sitting here for five hours. You know, welcome. Uh, do you have you thought I don't know if you think in those terms you did win a Super Bowl You've had a great career. I think a Hall of Fame career Do you think in those terms of being that close to winning or what it would mean to have won three Super Bowls? Uh, you know a little bit, you know But I guess I look at it more the fact that I was able to play in three and you know in the three games Like you mentioned I had a chance to win all three of them And that's what the Super Bowl to me is all about you want the two best teams playing a great football game I think that happened in every one of my Super Bowls, and uh, and I had a chance to win all three of them. So it was, for me, it, it was the highlight of my career to have the opportunity to play in three, specifically to w play for two Super Bowls with two different teams, um, you know. And, and so I was just fo so fortunate to uh, have had the career that I did. And yeah, it would have been nice to have won three, but I think I appreciate the fact that I was there and had those opportunities more than I think about winning and losing. All right, Arizona, you just got beat. Uh, I mean, they came down and won a game. God bless them. I mean, they earned that one. The other one is a very tricky game. The commissioner opened Pandora's box this week again when he brought it up in an interview in SI. <laughs> um, if I'm Mike Martz, if I'm you, if I'm Marshall Falk, if I'm any of those guys, to us, it's still a mystery exactly what they knew when we never saw the tape. I always right. felt it was an injustice that we never were allowed to look at that. There has to be a feeling that you guys have that you didn't get treated fairly in that game. And if I'm Mike Martz, and I, that, that, I'm a head coach if I win that game. I mean, if I'm yeah. Kurt Warner, you are a big star, so it didn't impact your career. And Marshall's going to be a Hall of Famer. It didn't impact his career. But a guy like Mike Martz is a head coach if he yeah. wins that game. I mean, well, he's got two Super Bowls. He's got yeah. another Super Bowl. I mean, it's just... A big difference. He's got one that is a coordinator, one as a head coach. I mean, it, it makes a big difference, and I don't know if it's something that is a big deal or not. I don't know how to put it in perspective right. exactly what they gained in that game. Well, and it's it's hard to put it in perspective, and you know, to really know what was there. Uh, but I think that is the difficult thing, is because this is the history of the game, and. You know, now that there's still questions because the tapes were destroyed. Yes. And, you know, you, you always take the approach, okay, if there was nothing on those tapes, why do we destroy them? I mean, why doesn't everybody see them? And so that still keeps something in your Plus mind. Plus they that, bottled up that one of the all-time offenses. They right. bottled up an offense that right. was unstoppable. Yeah. It was one of the great offenses in it. They bottled it up enough until you sprung it open by right. adjusting in the fourth quarter, yeah. and then you were unstoppable again. Yeah. But. They bottled you up for three quarters. Right. How? I said that to yeah. Falk the other day, and he says, well, they had help. That's how they <laughs> bottled us up. And, and, and see, you that's know, the thing is yeah. you don't know, and you don't want to think that that had anything to do with it. But like you said, the big picture is that careers and history of the game Absolutely. can be affected. You know, because hey, I, I look at it. back-to-back -back Super Bowls. We, yeah, we would have won two in three years. That's right. And had I won two Super Bowls, maybe I'm a, I'm a St. Louis Ram for life. Your whole life. You know, and then maybe, you don't have to go bid the bench I, on the Giants. Maybe I played 12 straight years, and right. maybe there's some different things that happen. Now, right. I wouldn't change anything after going to Arizona and having that opportunity. Okay. But like you said, you know, head coaches, players. Yes. It's the history of the game that have been affected, especially you talk about quarterbacks. I mean, no quarterbacks question. are known for Super Bowl victories. So now maybe I have a Super Bowl victory. Tom Brady doesn't have one of his. You know, you know, changes so everything. It changes different things. And so I don't like to think about it that way. Right. But you're right. I mean, there's still a, a small question in the back of your mind is, OK, what was on those tapes and, and did it help them? you know, beat us in the Super Bowl. But bottom line is they had to play better than us on Sunday. They did that. But, um, you know, but there's there's always questions when, when there's unresolved issues like that. And you sat in very frustrating positions in the Super Bowl. You won your Super Bowl game and had to watch breathlessly as the ball's on the one-yard line. <laughs> yes. And you played in a lot of wild games. Number yeah. two, you deliver the lead with two minutes left and have to watch Pittsburgh come down and take it. Yeah. And then you know in your heart that if you get that ball back in overtime, you all win in that yeah. game because you are now they are flat dead and you have just gone up and down the field in the fourth yeah. quarter they know it too which is why they tried to score there at the right. end rightly so they know if this game they lost if you want a coin flip you'll win in the game yeah you uh, you were in a frustrating position yeah. a couple times saying just give me the ball one more time yeah, exactly i mean 
you're right. I mean, you, you put yourself, your team, in a, in a position to win the game. But, you know, the worst part and the hardest part of any game, and specifically the Super Bowl, is to be standing over there, you know, helpless. Right. And just and you were in a couple you know, of times, yeah. yeah. yeah every time. Every, I mean, every time. Super one you Bowl. won, though. Yeah, one I mean, the one lead. we won, yeah. it came down to the one yard right, line. Right, the one the yard defense line. had to make a play. Yep. So, that you know, that's a tough position as a quarterback where you always want the ball in your hands. And as any great competitor, they always tell you, I want the ball in my hands on the last play. And, um, you know, it's tough to sit over there and, and, and – be helpless and, and want, you know, let somebody else make that play to win a game for you. You know, people always say to me, oh, what does it mean? It means so much to a quarterback. You're now become a broadcaster and you're good at it. Um, when you get to talk and you are a guy who won a Super Bowl, it gives you a, a certain stature. It just does. Hey, I, I've been here. I've played the biggest game. I've won the Super Bowl. It does make a big difference in your life having gone there. So, you know, Roethlisberg has already done that. Aaron Rodgers is trying to break through. No one questions how wonderful his talent is. But right. when you break through, it does mean so much to your life. It really yeah, does. It does. I mean, in the short term specifically, I mean, your, your life is a whirlwind when you're the Super Bowl winning quarterback. And then, like you said, to always have that on your resume, uh, it opens so many doors throughout your career and your future and even into retirement. You know, as you retire, you know, Everybody wants, when it's Super Bowl time, they want to talk to somebody who's won the Super Bowl, somebody that's been there, and specifically quarterbacks.